Hey folks, it's Jessica here. So today I'm going to take a little bit of a break from all the class review videos and talk about a topic that frankly doesn't get a lot of coverage in Rambo Fantasy, uh, and one that can have a big impact on your experience for the game. And that is how to most efficiently spend money on the game, or as I like to put it, how to buy in effectively. Uh, now, if you're a free to player, uh, before you click away, keep in mind that I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna make this statement that you don't need to spend a dime on the game. My dad has a free free to play account. He's cleared all of um, all the story content. He does all of the events. He participates and succeeds in United and Fight, and he's got almost all the Eternals. He's got like solid rids full of SSRs that he's gotten through free pulls. And he's not spent a single cent on the game, so you don't need to. You don't. You never need to spend money on Rebel Fantasy. Now, what spending money does get you is one: the ability to reach higher heights of power um, than a free-to-play player, uh, uh, barring like luck, <laughs> uh, and also the ability to get there faster, uh, a lot faster. Uh, my dad spent like. He's been playing for probably about two or three years, um, so he has a count that matches that that kind of time spent. Now, I would the important thing to keep in mind for this game and pretty much all gacha games is you're gonna get see diminishing returns on how much you spend. So if you are a free player, uh, for, uh, consider a few of the tips here. Um, they might really benefit uh, your account and let you have some of the things you really want uh, without really ca spending tons of cash. Um, if you want to whale, which is you know the extreme opposite, I'm going to do a separate video for whaling tips just because that is a long topic. There's lots of stuff to talk about. Um, but yeah, diminishing return. So for a little bit of money, you'll get a large amount of gain. Moderate amount of money, moderate amount of gain. Large amount of money, you're going to see smaller and smaller gains, but Sometimes that is what you have to do to reach the very specific goals um, of like, you know, the top, top, top players, like the people who who um, show up on leaderboards uh, for, for the overall Unite fights. Uh, it's, it's just a fact that if you want to have a really strong grid full of Grand Series weapons, you've got to be pretty lucky or you've got to spend a lot. So. Um, the first thing to talk about, and uh, I think a lot of players are going to see this kicking around, um, this surprise a special draw set, you get one of these automatically, it's called a start dash, it might be worded slightly differently, but you get one of these whenever um, you start your account. Uh, and what this is, is it gets you one free 10 pull, which is important, um, but more important is it gets you a, uh, a ticket. So the the, this is also what I'm talking about when I say sub ticks, surprise ticket. Uh, but beyond the start dash one, um, there's a surprise ticket, which is exactly the same thing uh, that comes around every, I want to say, three months or so. Um, it's up to side games whenever they put them out. Uh, but this is it. Um, I obviously only have my start dash, so this is the surprise ticket, which is going on right now. And if you haven't logged in uh, and you do want to buy in the game, definitely get a surprise ticket. What that does is it gets you a ticket that lets you pick any of the non-limited uh, SSRs and you just get them. So like, for example, if I wanted, let me find someone I don't have, um, sorry. Uh, okay, so if I wanted Wolf and Rennie, then, which I do actually, I might stop ticks her. Um, you can just pick her and you'll get the weapon, you'll get the character, and it's 100% guaranteed. Plus, you also still get your 10 roll. That's for about $30. Uh, if anything, um, like even if you're free to player, I recommend you get your start dash because that one, that one targeted pick of a character can really give you um, a head start in the game. It can give you some a character you can build a team around, and some of the, the choices can potentially um, just echo throughout your whole time with the game, because uh, you're never guaranteed a character unless you sub ticks, start dash, or spark. Uh, if you want recommendations on which element, uh, or sorry, which character you get from each element, um, I think, again, I will do a separate video for that. Um, but I will say that the character you sub ticks should, one, and this is the most important, be a character that you like, because honestly, like, playing your favorite waifu, or I guess husbando, um, 
is gonna be a lot more enjoyable than just picking like whatever the meta choice is. And uh, two, uh, it should be a character that is, well, frankly, rated very highly on the tier list. So if you go to like Game With or something, um, I'll put a link to the tier list in the description. But um, yeah, uh, pick a character that's rated very highly. Um, do a little bit of research on why that character is rated highly. Um, some characters are very niche, but very powerful. Uh, you're looking, with well, your start dash, you're looking for a character that you can build a team around. So someone very strong that um, that is integral to certain team builds. I mean, first example right now, I'm just going to give the one, is uh, Altair. Um, he is a very powerful blue um, buff character that's going to help you throughout the game. Uh, he's, he's just very good. Um, okay, I'll give you one more example. Uh, where the hell is it? I can't find him, but Yodahara is another good water character. Um, he's got a thing, and everyone recommends him because uh, he's got a thing where, uh, if timed correctly, he can Oogie for a million damage, uh, plane damage, uh, which can't be mitigated by the, the enemy. And that's enough to get you through whew, probably like the first 60 chapters or something of the game. Um, I don't recommend him as strongly as other people do just because, uh, well, frankly, um, he falls off in the endgame. For endgame grids, uh, he's not nearly as strong. Um, so he's kind of like a limited potency. Uh, be I should say beyond uh, these characters, you can also subtix um, these premium weapons. Uh, of these, the strongest are probably about, about Gisla. Um, you've seen me talk about this before. It's a spear that has big boost attar attar attack <laughs> and uh, also medium enmity on it, which is just huge. Uh, there's Crimson Finger, which is the same thing for fire. Uh, I don't really recommend you pick these unless, uh, unless you have all the characters you want uh, or really, 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 really want to f get another... Um, another important item for like a dark grid. Like Gislas are extremely important for playing dark. Uh, and then you can also get summons. I will say that um, just as the limited characters are not available for um, for subtixing, uh, the summons, certain summons are also not available for subtixing. subtixing. So like Bahamut, um, any of the primals, uh, a bunch of the characters basically are not available here. Um, but you can uh, you can <laughs> you can get some good results from picking certain characters here, certain summons. So that's the first big one. That's the subtix and yeah, slash your start dash. Oh, one last thing. If you start dash at a time, if you start dash at a time when certain limited characters are available, so I believe it's like. If you start dash when swimsuit characters are available, summer characters, then your start dash snap sh snapshots that and will always allow you to pick those characters on that specific start dash ticket. This was a big deal when people start uh, were start when Summer Zoe wasn't a grand character because Summer Zoe is absolutely integral to um, a dark team, and um, Actually, she's kind of a good example of what I mean when I say a character you can build a team around. Uh, th like, if you could start, if you could subtick Summer Zoe, subtick Summer Zoe. Like, unless you absolutely hate her and hate Enmity, um, she's just uh, uh, she is the cornerstone of the Dark Enmity team. Uh, you're gonna have a really hard time running that team without her. And uh, yeah, th that's probably the most effective use of a subtick you'll ever have if you want to play Dark. Now, moving on, uh, we have the Superstar Premium Draws. This is called, uh, <laughs> people are very cynical about this one. Um, they call it the Scam Gotcha, and the reason for that is um, very often people will, will get this and not get the thing they want. That doesn't mean this is not is bad or anything, but what this is, is it is a ten pull for about $30 that is guaranteed to get you at least one SSR. It might be a summon or a character based on uh, what the, the particular superstar pull is. It would tell you the details here. So this is, I feel, actually a good purchase because um, 
it is the only time besides the subtick trigger you're guaranteed to get an SSR. Uh, you're not guaranteed to get a specific one, and these super have diminishing returns as you get more and more stuff, because um, you have very little control over what you get. You can only just pull during a certain time and hope uh, you get you don't get an SSR that's redundant or that you just don't want. Um, but it's guaranteed, and again, very few opportunities for a guaranteed SSR. So in terms of like effectiveness or money spent, this is a very efficient thing to do. Early on, I recommend it. Later on, up to you. Um, so I'm actually here. I will go ahead and pull, I, for you, <laughs> for you, I will pull on a Superstar Premium draw, and then we'll see what do we get. Um, so I've got some Grand Coins right there. I'll pull on this, and it's going to be guaranteed, so it's going to be a Rainbow Crystal. There it is. And on top of the, the guaranteed SSR, it is a regular pull, so you can pull potentially more than one SSR. Let's see what we got. Well, it's on the final slot. That's interesting. That, I believe, means it's something I don't already have. Could be wrong about that, though. So, you know, the usual stuff. We're going to just click through it. And the next one should be it. Oh, God. It's a Hades. So, like, this is what I'm talking This is an excellent example of what I'm talking about. For a lot of players, pulling a Hades would be amazing, because Hades is one of the primals, extremely powerful. But for me, who's played the game a long time, I already have an FLB Hades, so I don't actually need this one. I actually have two extras now. <laughs> so, um, but that's kind of what you, you risk when you go do a, um, a superstar draw. Um, you might get something redundant, but you will definitely get something, so that's, that's why you do it. Uh, couple other tips um, there are occasionally um, so right now this is actually why I decided to do the video right now there's a lot of um, cool stuff going on that isn't normally up um, a, a lot of times they'll sell premium outfits for a character so these are the swim suits for the Eternals um, CF on uh, the Sarasa and uh, Esser uh, not Esser um, Sorry, Song, <laughs> uh, Twayan. Uh, I don't know why they have different names between English and uh, Japanese, but they do. Um, so I already bought the Twayan's uh, outfit, Summer, uh, Summer bikini, because it's super cute and I love her. I love her gay ass. Um, and uh, I haven't bought CFNs because I don't have him, and also I don't really like him. Um, and then I'm gonna buy uh, three of uh, Sarasas when it comes out, but it's coming out until tomorrow, I think. Uh, but when you buy one of these, it gets you the swimsuit, but also gets you a, um, a premium tendra. So these are, can be good because like if you want the outfit anyways, then you get a bonus tendra for free pretty much. Uh, are there things to talk about? Uh, pay attention to what the banner is. Um, so right now, the banner right now is summons. Um, and these are the featured summons, so they have a higher chance of being pulled. Uh, if you want one of these summons, then it can be a reasonable thing to pull right now. Uh, but I generally don't recommend you pull right now. Um, here, by the way, you can see all the rates for everything. So when something is featured, it has a little bit of a higher rate. So 0 0.029 as opposed to 0 0.010. Um, so it's it's three. It's almost three times more likely, but still not super likely. Um, and the reason I don't recommend you pull right now is there is a thing that happens around the middle of the month and the end of the month um, called uh, the Flash Gala and the Premium Gala. Uh, so the Flash Gala uh, has a, limit, a set of limited characters you can only get during the Flash Gala, and they're usually very powerful. Um, right now, I believe it is Black Knight, Orchi uh, Orchid, um, St Sturm, Drang, uh, Light, uh, Light Vera, my favorite, <laughs> I love. Um, Dark Angel Olivia, uh, Scorn Alexial, Summer Zoe, and uh, uh, Lucifer. Uh, Lucio, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> get them mixed up because they are definitely not the same person or anything. Hint, hint. Um, so, uh, if you want one of those characters, the only time you're gonna get them is if you pull during that time. Now, uh, 
The other thing about the Flash Gala is normally the chance of getting an SSR is 3% um, on any... T uh, it's just 3%. I think... Hang on, before I... Before I lie to you, uh, let me double check something. Where are the draw rates? So yeah, 3% SSR, 15% SR, and then anything else is going to be an R. Uh, these the SSR rate is doubled during uh, during a flash a flash gala, so you have a six percent chance. So that's um, the best rate you're gonna get for SSRs. And if you're gonna spend like money on just uh, banner pulls, do it during a flash gala. There's no reason to do it outside of a flash gala or a premium gala because your SSR rate is only 3% outside of those and at 6% you know you have a decent chance of getting something um, just don't do it uh, the, now uh, the premium gala is usually at the end of the month and these are story SSRs um, so this is Grand Catalina, Grand Rackham, Grand Io, uh, Grand Ugin, Grand Rosetta, Grand Lycia and Grand Kane is the one they just added. I almost forgot that one. Also, the Zodiac characters. Um, every year, there is a new Zodiac character based on Chinese Zodiacs, so like Rooster, um, Ram, etc., uh, Monkey, and I think Dog is this year. Yeah, Dog is this year. Uh, so you can only get those characters during their year or after... I think it's like you can get them during their year and then they go away for a year and then you can get them the year after that um so don't quote me on that you can do some research and figure out the exact times they're up but they're not always available so if you want any of those grand character grand story characters or the zodiac characters that's the only time you can get them and they're all pretty good um varying amounts are pretty good but all of them are strong um same thing six percent ssr rate during that time no i don't want to turn on location services stop it um <laughs> so yeah uh, those are the times you want to spend. Um, now, I know I said never roll outside of the gacha, uh, the flash gacha or the premium gacha, but the, the one time you want to do it is if a character you really want is specifically on raid up, you can consider rolling outside of it. So like right when the, right when the swimsuit characters were introduced, for example, I really wanted Summer Vera, um, who was specifically on raid up then, and I just rolled for her and I got her. Um, so, like, y you can roll outside of those two windows, but um, while you have a higher chance of getting the specific character you want, you're, you have a much lower chance of getting just getting SRs overall. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> don't roll, for the most part, outside of the premium galas and the flash galas. Uh, last thing to talk about, this is the last thing, okay, one last thing to talk about. I'm going to contradict myself again. Um, the other time you might want to roll outside of Premium Gala is, uh, it doesn't come around very often, but every once in a while there's a plus one gala. Um, it's not a gala, it's a plus one banner. So every single roll in the, on the banner will get you a plus one uh, character, um, sorry, item. And plus ones are important, as you can see on plus 99 on all these weapons, uh, because they give you extra stats on your weapons. So if you really need plus ones, um, then it can be efficient to roll during that. But you're going to get less SSRs if it's not during a premium time. Just you're, <laughs> you're, you're trading um, SSRs for guaranteed plus ones. Okay. Now, um, here's, here is an intimidating topic to talk about. Uh, sparking. Uh, this is extremely important for whales. Uh, I will get into this more when I do my whale review, um, but uh, for today I'm just going to briefly talk about sparking. Every time you roll, you get a spark, a uh, cerulean spark. If you have 300 cerulean sparks, you can trade them for any of the characters featured on the banner, guaranteed. Uh, right now is a bad time to do it because it's only three summons, but like if I want to trade 300 sparks for Athena, I could just do it. Or Freyr or Marula Maculius, Macula Mar Marius. Why did I mispronounce her name so badly? Uh, the Squim Super version. She's really good, <laughs> and she's really cute. Um, you can you can just guarantee them with 300 sparks. Uh, rough estimate: 300 sparks is probably about 700 dollars, 750 dollars. So uh, 
it's a huge investment. But if you're only going to spend a lot of money in one sitting on the game, uh, then consider just pushing a little bit further and just sparking on top of that. That can be a very good way to uh, get something that you very much want. And for some people, like spending that much on the game seems completely absurd, and that is totally fair. And for some people, um, you're going to be on the fence about it. Uh, the main reason to do it is if you have, if a character that is very strong is available uh, that you really, really want, like it is your waifu uh, or husbando, uh, then like that is the time you can consider sparking. But it is going to cost a lot. There's no way around it. Uh, now, free to players, if you're still around <laughs> after all that, um, you can free to play Spark. Uh, all you do is you save up crystals and free tickets because um, it's not 300 sparks don't come just from premium like pulls uh, or sorry premium uh, like pulls that you spend premium currency on they just come from anything from the premium draw like pull uh, okay that might sound confusing what I mean is you can do these pulls with crystal see I can do a 10 part pull with um, 3,000 crystal that will get me 10 sparks so if I were to save up enough crystal to and like premium tickets to um, to to get 300 uh, cerulean sparks, I can spark even without spending any money. So if you're on the fence again about um, spending money on the game, the game, and you do really want a character, you can just save up a long time. Uh, it takes a few, I want to say it takes a few months. Um, they've been really good about giving away a lot of crystal lately, but um, in general, it takes a few months. And that will let you spark also. Now, have I covered everything? Uh, there's other ways to get uh, to get pulls. Like um, there's there's certain promotions. Uh, just super quick. Um, like for example, where is it? No, it's not inventory. It's really confusing that there are supplies and there's inventory because it seemed like they would be the same thing. Treasures, consumables. Um, okay, so Uma Masume, I think is the name of it, is an anime that came out. It is a horse girl anime that's made by Psych Games. And if you purchase the DV the Blu-ray for that, um, there's a code you can use to get this uh, Uma Masume horseshoe, which is uh, a Damascus uh, bar, 100%. Uh, if there are things outside of the game that you are interested in uh, that have promotional gifts like that, also consider getting those because like a Damascus Mars real nice bonus for getting uh, for purchasing an anime um, you don't have to purchase anime like it's a good anime I recommend it actually it sounds silly but I recommend it so if you're gonna get the anime anyways uh, make sure you purchase the version that gets you the, the horseshoe okay I think that's all I want to talk about today um, to recap if you want to spend money on a game start dash uh, is like the, the the thing you should definitely do uh, if you want to spend like a very little amount of money on the game relatively speaking uh, Do your start dash and get every sub ticks sub ticks come out every three months or so uh, so that means uh, You'll start off with a character that you guarantee you want uh, unless it's a limited character in that case you have to spark limited characters Sorry, they're limited for a reason um, and every three months you'll get sub ticks, and so you'll get uh, another guaranteed character every three months. And you, as you can see, um, it doesn't take long to pick up all the characters you want through sub ticks if you are picking them up every three months. Uh, if you're going to spend a little bit more money, pay attention to the banner. You can do the superstar premium draws if you want. Um, if, but yeah, if you're going to pull like if you're going to pull a lot. Uh, only doing it do it during leg like leg fest um, flat the flash gala and the premium gala it's also called leg fest if uh, legend festival or something if uh, you hear that term and then if you're a whale um, same rules apply but uh, I will talk specifically about whaling later in another video probably I feel like the crowd that is interested in that is a lot lower <laughs> Anyways, um, that's all they've got for now. Uh, a couple parting things. We are almost at 1,000 subs, and I know that's not a lot, but to me that actually means the world because I didn't think anybody would watch these videos when I started making them. Um, sorry this one's been a bit rambly. Uh, there's just a lot to talk about. 
Um, but yeah, most of these rules, like the whole diminishing returns on how much you spend thing, uh, they apply to other gacha games as well. It's usually the case that that is true. Uh, so, like, keep that in mind. Um, also, keep in mind there are ways to waste your money. Like, if you just pull a ton on a banner that doesn't have specifically rate ups on the characters you want, and it's not uh, it's not a premium gala or a flash gala, you're you're, you're just wasting money. Like, just pull, like follow the advice I give here. <sighs> Oh yeah, and the last thing, and this is really important, it can get really dangerous to buy into a game if you don't have a specific amount you want to spend in mind. Uh, I probably shouldn't save this for last, but uh, I'm just gonna say it now. Set a goal for yourself. Like, d the goal shouldn't be I, I specifically um, I want to get everything that's good. Uh, cause like that's that's not a goal. That's just that's just saying you want to keep on spending money. Uh, either do something like I will spend five hundred dollars, or I will spend thirty bucks, or I will just get the sub ticks, um, or I will pull until I get Grand Vera, something like that. Um, so you have a destination in mind, and even when you set a goal, if it's something very specific like I will pull until I get a certain thing, set do set a limit on how much how deep you're willing to go. Because it is really easy to spiral out of control on these gotcha things. I know there's a lot of talk about like gambling and loot boxes and whatnot. Um, you are essentially gambling for the character you want. Uh, and chances are, if, if you look at the odds, the odds will play out uh, as you would expect. But they sometimes don't. So there's this thing I, I call like... Okay, here, here we go. This is the thing that can happen. Don't let this happen to you. Uh, you want a specific character. You spend 60 bucks, so two 10 poles trying to get them. You don't get them. You're like, well, now I already spent $60. I might as well go to 100 uh, You keep spending, you do some more pulls, you still don't get the character. Uh, this is what I call getting on the train. And uh, <laughs> um, this keeps spiraling. So you spend $200. Now you're $200 in. You still haven't had the character. But, like, you've only spent $200, so, like, you know, mathematically, you're likely to get them in the next $100, so you spend another $100. Uh, now you spent $300, and you're going to feel like garbage if you don't get the thing. Uh, this is... Uh, <laughs> uh, and then you spend $400, $500, and you just go way deeper than you thought you were going to. That is called getting in a train wreck. <laughs> um don't do that. That's like that's the trap you can fall in. That spiral. Um, I, I believe that's called the sunk cost fallacy. To think that you've already spent this much, so you might as well spend more. Uh, something like that. Don't don't do it. <laughs> Just don't do it. That's the number one thing to guard against. Anyway, um, yeah, almost a thousand subscribers. Thanks so much. Uh, I, if you guys enjoy more of these kind of videos, like more like like super meta videos, let me know. And uh, yeah, uh, check out my Twitter um, if you can follow me on if you can follow me on Twitter or check me out on Patreon. I would super appreciate it. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe. I will see everybody next time. Bye.